when I was a young man and uh, I met Heather and realized that I wanted to marry her, I began to entertain this notion of what it was to be a good father and a good husband, or maybe even a perfect father or a perfect husband. You know, I, I had great examples in my life. My grandfather was a soldier in World War II, grew up in a small town, married to my grandmother for more than 50 years before he passed, raised three children in the post-World War II era, uh, and was just a great example of love and faithfulness, and I'll never forget that. My father, likewise, an incredible example of faithfulness. Never once did I ever doubt his love for me, my sister, or my mother. He's a pastor in Arkansas, uh, and I love him dearly, and he imparted so much into my life. I am what I am today because of him. 25 years of ministry and over 23 years of being married have taught me a few things, among which I've began to understand that I'm not going to attain perfection in anything I do, least of all in being a father and a husband. And that my best shot at being a good one is not even in trying to follow the example so much of my grandfather and my father, but on a journey and a quest to be more like Jesus. And that's really what they taught me. They didn't teach me so much how to be a good father the way they did it. They really taught me what it was to follow Christ. One of the things that I have recently sort of had to embrace as my children kind of begin to get older uh, is this idea of fallibility and understanding that I'm, I'm not gonna always do things right. And that being right as a parent is not even always the best position to parent from. Few things have humbled me, uh, like the situation that occurred between me and my daughter uh, several months ago. Um, I had come to a situation where I needed to bring correction and I lost sight of this idea that you can be kind and correct in the same moment. And that's a possibility, but I, I get lost in the moment sometimes of being right and correct, and this is what you're supposed to do, and you didn't do that. And man, it just brought the hammer down, and it wounded her. And it didn't take me very long to figure that out. My wife knew that, like right away, because that's just the way wives are. They, they, they get it, they figure that out. And my daughter knew that, but it took me a little while to kind of figure out that, man, I had really sort of overstepped that bounds and had to go back and uh, just come before my daughter and just apologize and tell her that that was not Christ-like. That wasn't the way to do it. And being right at that moment was not what that relationship and not what that situation needed at all. What it needed was a fallible parent coming and getting down uh, on his knees before her and just saying, look, I'm so sorry. Being right didn't give me the right to, to be rude and to bring the hammer down the way I did. And I had to make it right with her. It was hard, and not even hard in the sense of hurting my pride. It was hard knowing that I had hurt my child. And she was so gracious and forgiving. And our kids are that way. They're so ready to be led and loved and not lorded over. And I find sometimes that the best thing I could do is not to be right. The best thing I could do is to shepherd the heart of a child to love and to pursue Christ. Try not to get lost in the quest to be correct, but rather be lost in the pursuit of the heart of Christ. And understand this, that being right is not a license to be reckless. It's an opportunity to be gracious. Remember that our Heavenly Father is right. He's perfect in love. He's perfect in truth. He's perfect in all of His ways. Yet He gives grace to any person uh, that comes boldly to His throne. I have two challenges for you guys today. And the first one is this, to understand that it's okay to be correct and kind in the same moment. Man, uh, I'm preaching to myself right here. You guys just don't even understand. This is so incredibly hard because I realize how fallible I am in this, but I have to remind myself that it's okay. I can parent, I can be loving, I can be kind and correct in the same moment. And the second thing is this, when you blow it, own it. Just own it. Be fallible before your children. It really is okay. Watch the forgiveness and the love and the bonding and relationship that comes when you come before your kid and they understand that you've blown it. You just go and actually own up to it. I pray for you this week. I pray that God would 
give you opportunities to be gracious to your kids, to guide their hearts, to love them in the pursuit of Christ rather than just being correct. Love you guys. I'm praying for you this week. Have a great one.